Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed and we're taking a quick peek at the uh, peppers that I am overwintering. And I haven't been down here for about a week, but as you can see, there's a flower and a pepper. Now I don't, I'm going to pick those flowers off and you probably think, why? And I'm like, well, okay, so I don't want them to use up all that energy trying to make me peppers in the winter time. I just want them to survive and stay healthy. So there's probably 20 or 30 flowers on that. And then if I take you over to the next one here, it also has some flowers on it that I need to get rid of. And you can see that it's even budding on this little thing down here. So as you can see, overwintering peppers, year number two, is going smashingly. So just wanted to give you a quick update on that. I don't know how long these things will live, but look at the size of that trunk. It's like a, like a tree, the way it's healing over there. Um, and as you can tell by the soil, that will auto adjust. The soil is bone dry before I water them. Otherwise they will rot down here. Peppers are not meant to live in 65 degree weather all the time. So when I say I let them get dry, I'm like, this bone dry, dust dry. So I'm gonna water them now, which turns out to be about once a week with the furnace going all the time. And uh, it takes probably a half a gallon for these one gallon peppers. That's how much water I give them. When I water them, I totally water them. Um, last year I tried just drizzling a little bit by a little bit and the root ball suffered. So this year I'm going to evolve myself like we do and I'm going to water them about a half a gallon of water, make sure that the soil gets totally drenched, drain it, and uh, if I back up here, you can see that they're actually living on top of my worm bin. And if there was any root rot going to happen, the worms, they, they make it up in there. There's worms in here. They will eat anything that's rotten. So they will keep the roots healthy for me in the wintertime. So again, circle of life. I put the worm poo in here to make them grow. And then... They grow and stay nice for me all winter long. Then they go outside in the garden. They give me all kinds of peppers. And then in the wintertime, I bring them back in here and the worms take care of them for me. All right, guys. Well, that's all for today about the peppers update. Go ahead and give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And uh, hit the little bell icon so you know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my plants, and everybody have a good day.